Introducing Secrets of Birthdays. Bow chicka bow wow. Are you ready to find love? Bow chicka bow wow. Your secrets are coming out. Bow chicka bow wow. All those sexy secrets are available at secretsofbirthdays.com. Bow chicka bow wow, baby. Hello, my captain. Welcome to Thursday. Thanks for checking us out here in the garden. Sunny and sentimental for the Capricorns. As you know, they are the captains of the ship and of the zodiac. The moon is in your opposite sign today, well into it, chapter two. So emotions are focused on your relation consciousness, how you relate to others. We have an independently aware consciousness that does nothing but constantly monitor how we're relating. This is the consciousness that helps us be in relationships, okay? and you are emotionally sensitive when it comes to these, this particular consciousness. So today you're sensitive to your relationships, you're sensitive to how you relate to yourself, you're sensitive to how you relate to a candy bar. Okay? Pay attention to what your emotional state of awareness is telling you and make wise decisions based on that. You can also take advantage of your emotional state of awareness focused on this and invest emotionally into any of your relations. Zip it in the sun. We're in chapter one of Sun and Scorpio. This month the Capricorns are learning about their context who you are in the world, who you are in the room, who you are in the office, who you are among your friends. It is your place in society. It is your contextual awareness. We have a consciousness that does nothing but monitor who we are in context of something else. Okay, It's kind of like a Russian doll concept. And yesterday we had Uranus. That was breakdown. So something in some context somewhere broke down. All right. Today with Mercury ruling the day, I'm expecting Mercury to help you break through, to understand what went wrong. Think of your social context consciousness as your own Google map, okay? So in the last 24 hours, you realized your little dot was in the wrong spot. So today, I think you'll understand what that is, and I do have a clue. Venus retrograde is conjuncting the sun today, which means whatever you are in the world, it must be something that you love. You must love yourself. So you have these friends because you love yourself. You're running for political office because you love yourself. You want to be mayor because you love yourself. You want to be the boss because you love yourself. If you can't say because I love myself, you're in the wrong context. Mars has now moved over into Sagittarius in the last 24 hours. Mars is our aggressive energy. It allows us to move forward in life. Mars is now burying the hatchet into your subconscious. That means Capricorns are going to be quite pissy for the next 30 days or so. Mars means it's going to stir the pot of everything you're in denial about. And I got to say, Capricorns tend to be really good at denial. So if you get really angry or you want to act out or blow up on someone, you've got to take five seconds, take a deep breath, and ask yourself, why are you so sensitive in that area? Mars is kind of twisting the knife and revealing to you the weeds in your soul garden, which will be what you focus on in 30 days. And it's Thursday. Speaking of weeds, how about plants? Sika Salter's got the Renegade Aroma Therapist live today, her first Scorpio episode. She's prescribing a plant essence that's going to help you with your boundaries and your context or your contextual awareness. So don't miss Sadika. She's here to help you help yourself, and she's live everywhere. Soul Garden is blooming. All right, Cappy, that's all I have for today. Tomorrow, some massive healing. All those details in just 24 hours. Live, love, be. Soul Garden.